Well, I guess it's time to care about Marsha for once in our lives. Isn't that right, Harry? Robot, check up on Marsha! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do it. After I talk to everyone else first. Is Marsha okay? Did something happen? I, that's what I like to know, personally. It's been like this all day, man. If that punk wouldn't talk like that to her if she weren't his sister, I'll show him. Uh, well, at least Roy has his priorities straight. I also hate Harry, most of all. Well, I actually like him. He's a cool guy. When you get to know him. If only the bounty hunters made it to the semifinals. This isn't going to do our reputation any good. We lost. Seeing how cruelly they treat nameless characters. Why did they raise our hopes? You probably won't even recognize us the next time you see us. That's how it goes with us. I'll miss you guys. If you wanted to avoid getting a serious beating by evil, you should have lost that last round. By the way, how's Marsha? So, you won too. You must be happy to know you are about to lose to me. By the way, how's Marsha? Shut up. Everyone went home after the first round ended. Think I'll go home too. You better. Who would have thought that Captain Mira and her partner, Roy, would lose? That was kind of an awkward way to say that. We're now at the semifinals. Use the house team deck in the middle of the room. But first, check with Marsha. Oh, Robobot, please, I need to be alone. Don't mind me. Uh, uh, Marsha, this isn't gonna... it's not gonna fly. Everyone wants me to know how you're feeling. Well, Harry, I gotta say, she's not talking to me. Did you talk to Marsha? How was she? Uh, I don't know. You go talk to her. I can't do anything about it. Okay, let's see Marsha together. Oh, wow. Harry actually doing something. Instead of him yelling at me about him not wanting to do it. Marsha, sorry, but my stomach ain't doing too well. Change places with me. But... I can't, and we can't just change contestants in the middle of a tournament. Not a problem. Sophie will take care of it. She's a pal of mine. No, I... Man, can't you see in how much pain I'm in? And you still won't help. It's not that I don't want... It's not that... Great, thanks! Hey, Sophie! Marsh is changing places with me. Okay, that's fine. Wait, but... But... <laughs> Finally. My grand plan has come to fruition. I've kicked Harry off my team. And now it's time for the semifinals. Good going, Harry. If I hadn't pretended to be sick, Marsha would never have gotten over it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Robobot, take good care of Marsha. You know I will, Harry. And uh, if you ever need help uh, pretending to be sick, I'll make you sick. Darn it, the next time we fight, it's not gonna be this way! Got it. Is Marsha gonna be okay? No. You... Yeah. Oh. The rest of you nerds are the same. Only named characters get to change their dialogue, alright? Marsha is regretting her life choices. Did I remember to do this? I know I did last time, but then I forgot. This is a whole new, a whole new day. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, equip them right now and get this thing off me. Uh, where's my boy? Took the long way. Alright, we got the bubble gun. It's lame. Um, oh, the bomb. Burrow bomb? Let's see. Ball bomb. You see, it uh, explodes really big, does lots of damage. Yeah. Sure. It's gonna be great. Um, Evil, any words of advice? I'm always prepared. No problem. When you're ready, do the other side of the house. I'll show you the power of dark blue. Prepare yourselves, steel heart loser boys. Excuse me, Marsha is not a boy. I'll have you know. Huh? Aren't you supposed to be fighting with Harry? Well, this last minute change in the roster won't affect us in the slightest. Do what you want. I can't fight. You can't!
can't fight? Well, now that is a problem. It wouldn't be fun if it were a two-on-one match. Forfeiting just isn't my style. I know! Hey, you! Take a break! Uh, sir, yes, sir. And so, Robobot, it's just you and me now. No one to hide behind, no one to save you. And after all, it's only a game. Who cares if we change the rules a little? Shall we begin? After this little helpful tip from me? I don't want this match to be too easy, so I think I ought to give you a pewter to... to blah, blah. Excuse me. I don't want this match to be too easy, so I think I ought to give you a point or two to even things. Some guns and bombs change abilities when they're fired during a jump. You didn't know that, did you? Give yourself a little variety by switching between ground and air attacks. Take it from me. Aren't you happy I shared that? Did you follow all of that? Encore, mon ami! <laughs> Excellent! There may yet be hope for you. Do you listen well, after all? What an egomaniac. Battle, begin. Well, Evil has decided to take us on one-on-one. -on -one. His juggler is a trick flyer, and kind of looks like him. Otherwise, he's a lame -o. So I'm just going to beat him up, even with my bubble gun. Fighting in like the standard house here. I don't know if this is uh, evil's thing or just for this round. And right out of the gate, Robobot takes a commanding lead. The bubble gun. <laughs> the bubble gun. It fires big bubbles that hold. You can't escape the bubble gun! The thing about the wall bomb is that it's kind of, uh, it doesn't go over the walls very well. Bubble gun! That's right, it fires two bubbles when you're on the ground. Wow. Evil's really just kind of not good. Just not good. You're losing to a bubble gun, you know? Game over, pal. Bubble gun. And now I've got your power. Left pulse gun. Impossible! Evil lost! Calm down! This tournament offers no prize. It's only for sport. Our glory lies elsewhere. I was done with the match, and so I simply decided it was time to be done with it, that's all. So you threw the match on purpose? Naturally! And I think perhaps I gave Robobot some confidence in the process. You are truly amazing evil. So concerned for the feelings of your foes. Such compassion. <laughs> what can I say? I have a big heart. Let's head back, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, we have the teams that will go on to the finals. The training gym has just announced the winners of its semifinals as well. Once that team arrives, we'll start the final match. At last, we have come to the final match of the Police Squad Battle Tournament. Uh, Ernest and L -L 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 Linda. I. What? No one told me Linda could actually robo -bo battle. The left pulse. It's like a worse Gatling gun. I'll keep the wall gun. I liked it. Eh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. The Chief's here to watch the match. He must be furious since no one from the police squad made it to the finals. That's what you think. Ernest has actually been working undercover for the police for about 13 years now. The final match! For final match, this place sure is dead. Yeah, no one wants to watch it. They're not involved. What a disappointment. Not a single team from the police squad made it to the finals. This will be worth watching. I'm looking forward to you in your final match. But how's Marsha? But how's Marsha? 
At last, the final match. I set my work aside just so I could see the match. But, oh, this is unfortunate. The police squad was eliminated from our own competition. Yeah. That's what happens when your Class A licenses actually mean nothing. Hey, Robobot! Look who you're up against! What's going on here? That's what I was said. I literally said those words. Marsha, I, I can't... I doubt these two are gonna do the same thing Evil did and, you know, let me one-on-one. -on -one. They're gonna destroy me in a 2v1. Huh, Linda? Haha, <laughs> we got lucky. That's the only reason why we made it this far. Why do you all look so surprised? When you're ready, go to the other side of the house, see your deck, and press the A button. Hey, what's going on here? Why are you fighting Linda in earnest? Why? We entered our names and won all our battles. That's all. Right, Linda? That's right. We were just... lucky. But, but, Linda, you were freaked out from the lab attack. And what about the robo yesterday? Oh, that's why I've come. To refresh myself. What's going on here? You gotta... I gotta give you some tips. You need to watch out for Linda. But your main target is Ernest. Good luck, Martian. Robot, I... I can't do it. Not now, Marcia! Not again! We need you! You're against Ernest and Linda! I'm sorry, really. Forget it, Harry. Marcia, you stay here and watch. I'll fight by myself. Robobutt, let me help out a little. Some more advice, maybe. Or maybe you could take Marcia's place again. Uh, huh, Harry? Like uh, how you entered the tournament with me as my partner, and now you just decided you don't want to help anymore? <laughs> You'll see a letter marker next, like a D or C, next to the names of bombs and pods. That indicates what type of blast effect that weapon has. Got it? Got it. Thanks, Harry. They didn't even give me an option to be, you know, sarcastic about it. Marsha? It's okay. She'll be fine. And this way, we'll win for sure. But... But... Don't worry. If she needs the rest, let her sit this route. Marsha... What's wrong with you, Marsha? Robobot may be good, but he can't win alone. No. No. My brother. Huh? My brother? He's watching me from somewhere. Please, help me. Please, help me! Did she say her brother? This was all about your brother? You dummy! Now you listen to me! Stop asking for your brother for help! He's gone! Harry, I think she's worried that her brother is watching her. I think that's the issue here. Not that she's asking him for help. She's asking for someone to help her because her brother is stalking her, Harry. What? Come on, do you care about what happens at Robobot or not? You don't know how many times we've worried about you, fought for you. This here's the guy who saved you, even though he thought he was going to lose, remember? But no, you've been busy thinking about your brother while we're risking our lives for you. Marcia, snap out of it! Your brother is gone! Face reality! No matter how sad you get, or how hard you cry, your brother's not coming back! You don't want to face the facts. Your brother left you alone, and you're not facing the truth! The truth about my brother? I haven't faced it? How long do you plan on living in the past and repeating yourself all the time? But the past and my brother, something about the past? Fragmented thoughts. <laughs> I, I've only been looking to the past for my brother? That Harry might be right. Oh, here's time for the internal monologue. I've always been strange. Friends made fun of me. Adults laughed at me. I never trusted anyone except my brother, who always protected me. He said, Marsha, one day you'll find someone who understands you. Trust me. I was so young, and I just wanted to believe him. He was my only friend. But what if... No, my brother told me that one day I would find someone who would understand me and told me to be patient until that day came. That's what he said. I... I never realized. I was being so selfish, not thinking of the others. <clears throat> Harry. What? I'm sorry. I see it now. You see what? My pants? What I... What I want to do. Right now, I want to help the people that I care for. That care for me. Who? Then fight! Hell, Robot! I will. Robot, I'm so sorry. Now it's my turn to help you. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, Ernest. Robot. Oh, so I imagine they were just idling in the, in the middle of the arena. 
You're here! I thought I was gonna lose to Robobot. Hey, Robobot, Marsha and Linda are here. Let's start over. <laughs> Man, did I get lucky. <laughs> so, uh, canonically, I was beating Ernest in a 1v1 uh, with the left pulse gun. It does not bode well for him. So, Marsha, the uh, ace of our company or whatever, is on our side. She's got her standard homing star weapon and Milky Way frame. And our opponent, the Metal Bear of Ernest, equipped with a sniper. Which is a kind of an odd combination, but whatever. The Acrobat Bomb, I believe, like, does no damage, but it affects you and pops you up in the air. Well, it affects everyone, but it pops you up in the air and doesn't really do damage. And the Seeker is a Lightning Sky model. Um, with the Hornet Gun, that's Linda's signature weapon, fires bees at you. I mean hornets, right? But bees. And we're fighting on Marsh's turf. That's home court advantage. Hopefully they focus only her, and then I'll win. So apparently, Ernest is the one to really watch out for, but according to Harry. Welcome to the pain of the left pulse gun. I can't <laughs> hit anyone in front of me. Ah. I can't hit anyone in front of me. Oh. Oh. Ernest wants to just snipe in the back. I'm not gonna let him. better than him. That was the acrobat, huh? Hitting me high into the sky. Oh, Marsh got the kill. Good work. Marsh is so cool. I wish I could be like Marsha when I grow up. And now he's the right pulse gun. Great! And the Acrobat Bomb. I've got your power <laughs> Yes! We won! Congratulations! The winners are Marsha and Robobot! From Steel Hearts! Mm -hmm. Robot Harry, thank you. That battle helped me realize... Marsha, you've tried to become stronger by fighting only for yourself. But there's a limit to what you can do alone. Just now, you fought to save Robobot for the first time. Maybe now you can break down all that wall you've built around your heart. D did you hear that? Ernest almost said something nice! Uh, almost poetic! Mm. Oh, Ernest is quite the poetic spirit. Graduated with honors from Takuma University. Takuma? Takuma University? Only the best of the best go there. The best of the best. Yes, we graduated in the same class. No matter how hard I studied, I could never catch up to him. I... I can't believe it. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, huh? Ha 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 ha! What do you think of me now? I also can't believe that Linda's the same age as Ernest. Marsha, I look forward to take you... Excuse me. Marsha, I look forward to you taking your Class A license test. We'll have to talk more then. Uh, sure, thank you. I know, Harry. Let's invite Marsha and Robobot over for a celebration. Um, that would be very nice. Ernest, would you like to come over too? Are you kidding? Why would I celebrate losing to my own staff? Thanks, but no thanks. Well, why don't you join me and we'll have ourselves a little consolation party? Great idea! Let's do that! What? You're going out with Linda? Can... can I come with you? 
No dice. You're with us. <laughs> Fine. Robot. Marsha, stop by our house later. Harry, let's go home and get ready. What? You mean I have to help too? Of course. Let's go. Man. Hey, Roy, are you coming? We're done for today, Marsha. Robobot, don't give me any trouble. I'm going to stop by my house first. What about you, Robobot? <laughs> I'm gonna wander. It's all I know how to do. Okay, be sure to go home and clean up before dinner at Harry's. I'll see you later. Thanks for today. Well, Chief. Congratulations, Robobot. A splendid battle. Looks like you're invited to Mira's. You should go home and clean up from the tournament first. I'll accept our loss. For now. Aren't you going to Mira's house, Roy? Why would I? It's a celebration for you bounty hunters and your tournament victory. And Harry's there. Wow. Your friend Marcia says she was going home before heading to Captain Mira's. I heard that too. I'm jealous. I'd never get invited to Captain Mira's house. And you never will. Good work. All the participants have gone home. Aren't you going home? No, I wonder. That's what I do. I also get right pulse guns. Oh, an acrobat bomb? I was actually getting comfortable with the wall bomb. I don't remember ever using it, and now uh, I like it. But now I have this thing. And this thing. Yuck. <laughs> Just yuck. Good job in the tournament. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass this point. I didn't want to go past the point. The chief's office is over there. Only police are allowed in. Good. This is investigation. No civilians allowed. I'm a bounty hunter. Well, time to wander. Oh, oh. Hey, break it up, you two. The bonds of my friendship with Thomas are growing stronger with every moment. But I sort of wish Thomas would go a little easy on me. This hurts. I didn't want to hear that. Men become friends by fighting. That's how it works. But I wish Anthony would lighten up a bit. He's taking this way too seriously. And I heard the head of the Z Syndicate is really a beautiful woman. I'm scared of Z, but I wouldn't mind meeting her. You know, just to see if the rumors are true. I agree. Oh, I have to know. What does the Z and the Z syndicate stand for? I'm out of ideas. I finally bought a dictionary to look up more words that start with Z. Z, Z, what could it be? I'm absolutely brain dead. <laughs> Same. Wait. Looks like we lost the tournament, honey. We only lost because you could take your eyes off me during our matches, darling. Then die, dog. I got a call from the police squad saying that they were coming over here. What if they're planning something worse than closing my restaurant? I'm worried. <laughs> what? Another earthquake. But I'm more worried about my restaurant than the earthquake. Hmm. The lab? I wonder if it got closed because Ernest and Linda are having a date. Oh, Robot, congratulations. I heard you won. Where's Linda? She stopped by quickly, but she left almost immediately. Uh, I'm worried about Linda. She had such a serious look on her face yesterday. It looks like she's been troubled about something. Troubled about her date with Ernest. Jeez. Steel hearts. Ernest, what happened to your date? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? You were invited to Mira's, right? You should go home and get rest. Why would I rest before dinner? You're implying I'm gonna sleep. Why am I napping before dinner? Welcome, I heard the news. I can't believe you won the tournament. You heard the news! You were there, Sophie! That's really amazing. You're already a celebrity. You were literally the MC. Every day the same boy comes and spies with me. And every day you say the same thing. And I heard you won the two-on-two -two division. Someday I'll be good enough to take you on. But if I'm ever going to do that, I'm going to have to train extra hard. Hey, who won the 1v1 tournament? Didn't I done? Probably. <laughs> Lieutenant Roy said our performance in today's match was insulting and he yelled at us. He didn't believe us when we told him that we lost on purpose. I wouldn't have either. 
After watching today's match, Lieutenant Roy ordered some additional training for us. I'm too embarrassed to train at HQ, so I'm training here. I cannot spy within non-member. I am sorry. Nameless though we are, we've learned that even minor characters can reach the finals. It's filled us with new confidence, so I'm training with my partner, Nameless Guy 2. Oh, that's practically a name. I was at the tournament today, just watching the matches, but when I tried to go home, this guy in front of me grabbed me and made me come here to train with him. I think he's got me confused for someone else. I get that a lot. I got you confused, too. Ha! <laughs> Robot? Even if you are the champion, I cannot spar with a non-member. I am sorry. I'll champion you! Wait, that's a good thing. Two more places to stop by Bogey's Cafe. Bogey, I beat you. How'd you feel? Congratulations. I hear you won the tournament. Have you ever considered a career in the gambling circuit? No. Oh, hello, Robot. Congratulations. Bogey told me that there was a problem here at the cafe yesterday. I took the day off, so I didn't know. It's a good thing I wasn't here. I'm terrified of that sea syndicate. Me too. There's tall. Completely empty. That's a rarity. Oh, hello. The tournament is finished? I see. I guess I'm too late. I thought I could get a job with the police if I won the tournament, even with just a Class D license. But I can't even pass the Class D exam! I love the police, and I can't even pass the stupid test! I'm rooting for you, pal. Welcome, I heard you won again. Congratulations. It's a slow day. Yesterday, lots of people showed up to get licenses for the tournament, but today? Boring. Yeah, just one guy who fails his test over and over and over. And over. Lucy! Oh, you're back, girly. Are you done with work? Yeah, I entered a battle tournament today, and I won. Oh my, that's fabulous. Congratulations. Uh, when I was your age, I won a peanut sneezing tournament. I'm afraid to ask, but... Peanut sneezing tournament? That's right, I had to stuff a peanut up my nose, and then... I chew. And I was sneezing right out of my nose. Whoever sneezed it the farthest won. Right. That brings back memories. You need lots of skill to sneeze a peanut for distance. I trained every day. Uh -huh. Oh, hey. I can finally visit my freaking neighbors. And then I walked right out. <laughs> Never mind, neighbors. Marsha was awesome today. When I grow up, I want to be just like Marsha. I said that. I also said that. Except, not as nervous and twitchy. <laughs> and I'm going to defeat that stinky jerk, Harry. Robobite, I heard you won. I want to be just like you. One day, I'll even be Harry's boss. <laughs> what? My throat? Oh. My wife wants an expensive bag, but I want the stylish to pay. Even if my wife bought a nice bag, it wouldn't do me any good. But if I got a nice toupee, my wife would be proud to be down on town with me. It's for a good about the month. Yes, if we're gonna buy something, it should be a toupee. I thought there was going to be prize money. That's why I joined the gym. That's why I trained for so long. And it's so hard to fight in my husband's Holoseum. He's just so ice and snow. It makes the ground shiny and slippery, like the top of my husband's head. It's almost like his Holoseum is a reflection of his inner being. The baldness within. Hey! It came pre-installed in my robo! Well, I guess you were, uh, fated to be. It was like a soul match, you know. This is probably going to be the end of it. Probably. I need to, you know, sleep a good eight hours before I can go to a dinner that I was invited to, so... Yeah, that'll be the end of this. Uh, next time, we'll have a nice little dinner date with Marsha and the family Harry. Until then... I guess it's time to head over to Mira's house. Next time. <laughs>